Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we will continue exploring the comprehensive application of light and shadow deconstruction. Building on our last video, we will go deeper into the analysis. First, let's look at the projection of a bench. Treating the legs of the bench as a pole, we find the line where it disappears at the point of the shadow's vanishing point on the ground, and connect its top point B to the point of light's vanishing point to find the projection intersection point C on the ground. Next, we can use a similar method to find the position of point BD on the ground and connect D to the point of light's vanishing point. Finally, extend the parallel line from point D to the bench and draw the perspective parallel line from point G to restore the projection CH and connect points I, ICHJ. See the illustration for details. Next, let's look at the projection of the eaves. First, find the line of between the vertex and the shadow's vanishing point and intersect it with the eaves at point B, then draw a perpendicular line from point B. Then connect A to the point of light's vanishing point and find the intersection point C between them to determine the projection range of the blocking board on the wall. Extend the eaves to point D and connect CD to find the intersection point E on the left wall. Finally, extend point E to the left to obtain the projection range. See the illustration for details. The projections of the window and the stick have been demonstrated in previous videos and will not be repeated here. Finally, let's look at the projection of the rear house and the small house on the left. For the rear house, connect the pole base to the shadow's vanishing point to obtain point A, and connect it with the intersection point B of the rear wall to form parallel poles. Then connect the pole top C to the point of light's vanishing point, find the intersection point D, and draw a perspective parallel line at intersection point E to find the projection range of the eaves on the wall, and finally connect points F and G to obtain the projection. For the small house on the left, find intersection point A and draw a perpendicular line, then connect it to the point of light's vanishing point to find projection point B on the wall. Then find the two points of the eaves and connect them to point B, and finally draw a parallel line from point B to obtain the projection of the small house eaves. See the illustration for details. These are the deconstruction exercises for the comprehensive application of light and shadow. Thank you for watching my channel. I hope that through this platform, more people can understand the wonderful art form of drawing. If you like my channel, please remember to subscribe, like, and share, which will be the biggest encouragement and support for me. Finally, I wish you all to be filled with creativity and passion every day, and to constantly pursue your dreams and goals.